This is where Amazon plans to build its African headquarters. The space between the river and the mountain is of heavy, as of deep significance for our people. Today we find ourselves within a very technologically advanced society. We cannot forget our past. We cannot forget where we come from. It is deeply connected with who we are today. Bradley Van Sitters is a leader of the Khoisan Nation, a South African tribe that may be the oldest on the planet, with a distinct genetic lineage that can trace back 130,000 years. Like many of those within the Khoisan tribe, he is not happy that Amazon is coming to this particular corner of Cape Town in the shadow of Table Mountain. The Khoisan consider this patch of land, squeezed between a bird sanctuary, a rail yard, and the confluence of two rivers, to be sacred. It's the site of his people's first battle with European settlers some five centuries ago. In 1510, this is where our people came and defended themselves, defended the children, defended also the women and also the cattle against the Portuguese that came here looking for water and looking for fresh supplies. To Van Sitters, the efforts to keep the e-commerce giant out are an extension of those first battles with European colonizers. The contest with Amazon, or more specifically, the developers building the site where Amazon's headquarters will ultimately reside, is being largely fought in the courtroom, though. Our communities are suffering. And because of your wealth, which if you acquired, we would hope that you could look at our people kindly. This headquarters that you want to build, we want to tell you, not there. Van Sitters' view is not universally shared by other indigenous South Africans. Some hold that the 4.6 billion Rand River Club complex, eventually meant to house Amazon and others, will bring valuable, high-skilled jobs to an area where the unemployment rate sits at approximately 27%. That's about 10 times higher than in Amazon's hometown of Seattle. The new headquarters will reportedly employ 7,500 people. Construction of Amazon's future Cape Town headquarters, though, continued after a South African court ruled in favor of developers. That ruling left those opposed to the project, including members of the Khoi and San indigenous groups, awaiting a separate decision about whether stakeholders were properly consulted about the building before work began. This is not just an argument between jobs and heritage. Had it decently chosen and listened to what the communities were saying, listen to what the environmental organizations were saying, the civic entities were saying, and even listen to what the courts were saying. That other construction would have been up without much controversy. What is up now is, has been done without consent. For Amazon, this is about more than just a patch of land. The company plans to launch its online retail business in South Africa by February of 2023. And the new campus will be used to consolidate old and new employees in one building. But the company is growing increasingly frustrated by the delays. It's been five years since Amazon announced plans to find a new site, and the developer has been fighting the court battle for over a year. The developer, Liesbeck Leisure Properties Trust, said all the relevant indigenous people were given the opportunity to have input into the project, culminating in a, quote, binding social compact that incorporated their feedback. Amazon did not respond to repeated requests for comment. Amazon will have to seriously consider being part of the destruction, the desecration, transgression of this most ancient, sacred Aboriginal heritage site.